welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Sagittarius uh, Sun Moon and Rising sign it is the month of September 2017 I want to say thank you to all you Sagittarians thank you for the wonderful wonderful support um, please um, continue to leave your messages and um, uh, it's going to be a beautiful September no matter what is happening in your life um, things are going to be happening for you it's um, uh, the first three weeks is just profoundly wonderful um, the last week it is, is, is a sort of a sad week in a sense because you feel alone you feel as if uh, uh, there is no one for you and that sort of a thing you feel as if you're an orphan okay month of September has the, the energy vibration of the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is here and it is a fire sign so it's a lucky lucky um, it's uh, as if the wheel of fortune have association with Jupiter and Jupiter is your planet and it is the luckiest planet so for you Sagittarius in this month of September it is going to be changes new a situation is coming in your life a lot of new changes are coming in your life it's going to be wonderful it's going to be um, a fantastic fantastic period of your life as of the month of September for you Sagittarians now I want to say to each and every person the zodiac energy is the energy vibration of the her the the hurt and then in the, the third week it will change to the zodiac energy of the hair okay this month of September has four weeks four weeks okay so let's go on and see what is here your focus is going to be the six of one and the six of one's energy is the energy of victory and success okay is the energy of good news is on its way um, this is extremely positive because the wheel of fortune is um, is the energy vibration of the month and you have the six of ones which is um, good news is on its way whatever the situation is positive news is on its way and this is wonderful okay as we move forward and we are going to see what is your number energy vibration for the month of September there's a whole lot of new beginnings that is here um, the number five a lot of changes transformation is going to be happening in your life a lot of changes are coming in um, for a lot of changes uh, and um, a lot, a, a lot of new beginnings and working together with people this is what is here so a lot of wonderful situations are going to be here happening in this month so again you have the six of ones which is uh, good news is on its way to you and um, and this is going to be very positive for a lot of people a lot of positive situation is um, going to be um, um, coming up for you in the month of September six of ones is always uh, promising news news that is good and will be coming in on um, it's as if it's coming in on a success with um, with others uh, and team triumph uh, desire and honor and recognition so whatever that um, is going to play out for uh, someone out there okay all right, let's go ahead and look at the first week because we have four, four week. The first week we have the Ace of Sword, and this is a victorious um, winning of something. Whatever happened in the first week, uh, it is a victorious, um, um, a huge victory, a winning of something, um, uh, something that you, you have been battling with for a very long time. And you are finally successfully triumphant over this situation whatever the situation is and how it's going to play out in your life in the first week you'll be victorious and triumphant over a situation and then you will be moving on um, on a new journey okay whatever the that, that journey is some people will be moving away some people will be leaving relationships some people will be going in search for something better in whatever um, 
as aspect of your life this is going to play out people will be going on a new journeys in their life they will be going on a new search for something much better in their life in the first week of September okay so the ace of swords is a victory and a triumph and uh, you will be moving and going on a new part uh, traveling a new part in your life okay whatever the situation is uh, um, the truth will be told okay because I realized that in this week there's going to be a lot of lies uh, well there has been a lot of lies and people not speaking the truth and that sort of a situation hidden a lot of people had hidden agenda whatever those hidden agenda was and why they had these hidden agenda it was all playing out for a very long time and now you're going to see that you have um, victoriously overcome whatever the situation is and uh, you're moving on a new part and a new journey in your life and the truth will be told so whatever lies that was been there and has been there you're going to realize uh, that the truth is going to come out and the truth is going to be told as we move forward to the second week we have another wonderful energy and this is the energy of the magician the energy of the magician is so wonderful it is a, a positive positive energy that is coming in for you guys so what is happening is that you will be receiving the gifts from the gods of uh, um, the four elements so you can use them to manifest things in your life and this is going to be wonderful again you have victory and success I, I just saw this that again you have victory and success the ace of swords coming back up again so it's going to be very very positive of you triumphant in over a lot of situations in your life in the month of September so whatever is happening in the second week the the energy of the magician is here and you have the ace of swords again so you will be victoriously and triumphant in over um, things in your life so a lot of you people because the wheel of fortune is removing you out of a negative period and moving you to something um, positive so if you did not have a triumphant in the first week you're going to have it in the second week and a huge triumph because the magician bring in this huge triumph that is coming in whatever is that triumphant you are going to receive um, money you're going to receive a lot of money whatever the situation is you are going to receive a lot of money in the second week so whatever has um, taken place the milk and honey is always uh, um, your financial situation money it will be coming into you because it's as if a door or a portal um, has opened up and the um, your materialistic things and especially gains gains in monetary value is going to be happening so a lot of gains so whatever you have been working with and triumphant over um, money is going to be um, really 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 um, coming at you and this is very good so the second week is one of the best week in the third week we have a situation of sadness sorrows okay whatever that is it has to do with work so whoever uh, and I'm getting that it's not really work it's sorrows if your father is a Leo and a queer uh, Aries of a Sagittarius there is going to be sorrows you're going to have problems with him or if your partner but this is more of a leadership this is more of a someone in power over you it doesn't have to do with anything to do with a government but it's like someone of power um, someone bringing you um, news someone doing something to you that is uh, um, you know not not harness you know a sorrow you're having sorrow over something and this person has the power to do it so whatever the situation is um, take your power back and don't let people 
think that they have the power over you with whatever the situation is uh, know that um, you're not powerless whatever it is okay because whatever this was with this person blessing it is a blessing okay sometimes we want something and it doesn't happen for us sometimes people take away things from us and it doesn't happen for us and whatever the situation is uh, um, if it's a sense that you know you, you have started something and you know they're saying that you know you can't go on because of whatever reason it's okay because uh, it wasn't meant to be and you know we go into sorrow we're upset and that sort of a thing but you know it's a blessing most of the time it's a blessing in disguise because our guides and angels want to protect us from certain things and sometimes we are so much in a sorrow and so upset that we're not seeing that a blessing is happening because they are trying to protect us from something or someone that doesn't vibrate with our energy vibration so whatever um, the sorrow is know that it's a blessing in disguise okay whatever it is and it has to do with work for some people it has to do with your father for some people whatever the situation is it is going to be a blessing in disguise and sometimes um, sorrow can be good tears good tears of joy uh, okay, so for some people, it's going to be good tears of joy. It's going to be happiness, happy and a sad moment, happy and a sad moment. Okay, let's look at the fourth week. We have the energy vibration of the Princess of Wands, the energy vibration of the Princess of Wands, and the Princess of Wands is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, so this could be you yourself coming up in your own reading in the last week. So, whatever is happening is that you be working with groups of people okay whatever is happening you'll be working with groups of people so in the third week you could have heard that you know you're going to be taken on you're going to be um, accepted in a company or organization or a group of people it's going to be um, networking networking um, the situation of a networking whatever is happening there is going to be a lot of networking going on people connected into organization and groups okay because there's um, um, working together because we have the energy of the three of Pentacles which are building on something but in this organization or wherever you are you are going to feel as if you're an orphan you're going to feel left out and it's sometimes it's better to feel left out than you're in a crowd and a group and there is gossip and then you come in problems so maybe you 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 begin in a company and you are not you don't know anyone and you feel as if you're alone but it's okay to be alone because your angels and your guide will protect you in this time no matter what it is no matter what is going on so do not you know sometimes people need sometimes people really really need um, company and need to be um, accepted in a group but it, it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter you, you know it's not what you need to do what you need to do is accept yourself for who you are so remove yourself out of the embrace as if I'm all alone I have no one and you know no release yourself from this call upon your angels and guides with whatever situation is is ask them for divine intervention in the situation whatever it is okay so just call upon your angels and guide for whatever the situation is going to play out in the last week because it's you connecting in a group you could be starting new work that sort of a situation and yet still um, what is happening is that um, you're feeling out in the cold and um, um, being left out okay whatever the situation is it's going to be a good month a good month because the first um, the, the the second week and the third week is going to be the most positive the second week and the third week is going to be the most positive the ace of swords comes up twice so there's a lot of victorious overcome of uh, um, um, a specific situation a lot of um, victorious outcomes of spe specific situation in this month and it's going to be um, extremely extremely wonderful whatever this situation 
is happening um, good judgment a, a lot of good judgment in the first and second week is going to be a lot of good judgment rational choices uh, clear understanding and facing challenges okay so whatever is going to happen in the two first week is that you're going to have a good judgment rational choices clear understanding and facing whatever challenges there are and it's going to be positive um, the third week is going to be wonderful and I really need to know what is going to happen in this third week why is there it's going to be um, a sorrow of joy of joy it's going to be joy as we're going to be the bittersweet joy in the third week because finally something happened for you it's going to be the bittersweet joy in the third week because finally something happens for you finally things start to happen so um, some people is going to have um, you know it, it's going to be a bittersweet because here I asked the question and you have sorrow and joy so when sorrow and joy comes up it's going to be a bittersweet okay it's as if you something unexpected happened that you weren't really expecting something wonderful something beautiful you're crying you're healing you're feeling you know some people whenever um, it is that they're mourning at the past of their loved ones they will have these bittersweet feelings okay they will have these bittersweet feelings so um, the second week and the third week is going to be your best best week I don't remember if I gave you the number but I'm seeing um, number five is here number five four and five is going to be your number one four and five is going to be your number one four and five is going to be your number one four and five is going to be your number for the month of September okay as we look at the love situation it's going to be a very positive one um, for some people who have family um, you're married in a family relationship your kids are still at home you're having this wonderful family relationship it's going to be a very positive month for family okay family and the connection of family um, what is going to happen is going to um, there's also going to be a big celebration so you could be invited out to a wedding or you're going to um, be told of a wedding or something very wonderful happening in your family there could be a celebration there's going to be a celebration of uh, maybe you win the lottery please buy the lottery in the second and the third week whatever is happening by the lottery in the second on the third week it's going to be a wonderful positive um, situation that is coming in your life in the second and the third week um, the connection the love connection is going to be extremely strong whatever good news is coming in is positive positive good news coming up in your life so this is going to be a positive situation um, that is happening for you um, love is going to be very strong um, in connection with your family members and you are going to have a very um, you know successful a very triumphant win um, it's it's a happiness a celebration is coming in the third week so whatever is happening in your life this is going to be extremely extremely positive in the third week the third week is going to be uh, such a promising powerful week uh, because a wonderful news and happiness and joy is going to come in so in the form of love it's going to be a powerful powerful month for everyone out there okay there is uh, uh, not going to be an effect of any issues because whatever issues there are um, they will be um, be clearing up in whatever relationships you have whether in your family relationship or in relationship with other people in um, business or and this is more the love reading so love is going to be performedly um, good in the um, love between you and your partner and love between um, you and uh, um, yourself okay we have the energy vibration of beneficial beneficial benefits feel boredom use 
when I think them. Beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. Okay. There are things in your environment that you um, believe that much what you want and there are all kind of things in your environment that you believe that defines what you want how would you ever sort them out how do you know the active benefits within you that serve you well and the action believe that do not serve you how do you know the beneficial benefits from the determination of one's own fact the honoring belief feel better when you think them the determination ones feel worse when you think them so whatever is going on and whatever the situation is you need to be you know very positive in your life and in your world you need to be extremely positive in your life and in your world because as you remain positive in your life and in your world you are going to see wonderful things coming in we're also working with the ascendance masters before we get to the astrological um, part of the reading and let's see who is coming out <laughs> okay okay I, the message was that you're supposed to connect with the ascendance masters in your life but is there an ascendance you had a retreat of the ascendance master okay this is a wonderful thing because most of you are Sagittarius or Elas and this is very good to um, connect with the amethyst skull during the golden age of Atlantis, each of the eye prince and princesses of the 12th tribe fashioned a crystal skull that was advanced computerized program. It, it with the knowledge and um, wisdom held by the, their tribes. All the information was placed into the Ametic skull, master skull, which is kept safely in the inner planes. Receiving this card suggests you look for the highest um, perceptive in a situation that presents itself to you. Explore the details. When you have all the facts, take decisive action with wisdom and integrity. I explore all the information before I take a decision so whatever is going on in the month of September because there's two win there's two victory in the first week and the second week in the first week on the second week there is two victories whatever the situation is money you you're starting something new in the first week in the second week money is going to come in your life and in the third week in the second week there's going to be a victorious success and money is going to come in your life and in the third week you have a positive I explore all the information before I take action so whatever that is you need to explore the information do not jump in and and, and make a decision um, right away um, um, uh, look for the best scenario and best ways before you take a decision whatever that is before you make it the last decision look at the facts before you just jump in because I know sometimes um, certain things come to us and we just jump in let's see what we have for planetary system what do we have um, I'm getting the thing um, just to what planetary system what are we going to work with for the Sun we have the scorpion and a uh, Sun arising we have the scorpion and the Leo okay whatever energies so and, and oh my gosh you'll be working with yourself and the moon okay the Capricorns and the Taurus 
I'm the Virgo. Wow. Okay. 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 So for the Sun, Moon, and Rising, um, the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius, so we have the energy vibration that is coming in for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius. It's wonderful because I'm seeing now that the messages are different. Okay, whatever is happening for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius, this the Scorpions, the Leos, and the Sagittarius are coming in. So, whatever is happening, you guys are working situation out with all the fire sign people, except the Scorpion is water and the Leo. So, whatever situation is happening, you Sagittarius are going to be working with the Leos and the and the Scorpion in, and this is only for the Sun sign of uh, um, the, the you Sagittarians that you're going to be working with a scorpion which is a water sign which is a, a very um, they will be showing you like your enemies and they will be helping you to be victorious you're going to have the energy vibration of the Leos or Leo people would be coming in to support you in whatever you're doing and to help you and you're going to have the energy of the Sagittarius so this is really good this is really positive whatever the situation is is, is really a positive one as we move forward and we're looking at um, the moon sign we have the energy vibration of the moon side coming in and what is happening is that for the Sagittarius um, uh, moon sign people you be working with the Taurus the Capricorn and all the earth signs oh my god so this is um, really interesting I have never seen um, this really coming up like that but this is extremely really interesting I'm, I'm, I'm saying to you that I channel and sometimes the most interested things that you know I can pick up and, and do and this is wonderful because the lunar sign will be working with the earth people so the moon and the earth because if you were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. you're working with the energy vibration of the earth sign people so you're working with the Taurus the Capricorns and the Virgo so whatever is happening in your life it's going to be extremely extremely positive in so many ways it's going to be a positive um, one for you people so this is going to be good so be aware of this situation whatever is happening um, know that this is going to be a positive positive endeavor okay well um, here and we are going to go forward and uh, I am wishing you guys a wonderful positive um, month whatever the situation is know that love is the only thing that is read namaste until next month Thank you.